Hi, my name is David Rockwood, and we're at Scups in the Harbor in East Boston. Well, we were living on our converted tugboat in front of the dry dock, and one day I came home and I thought I saw a fox in the water, but it turned out to be a little dog. And uh, he's turned it, he turned into the best companion I've ever had. But one day, Wendy and I were sitting around trying to think of a name for the restaurant, and we weren't getting anywhere. And then she said, uh, well, Scup was in the harbor right there. So we decided to call Scup's in the harbor. Not Scup's on the harbor, because Scup was in the harbor. So Scup's in the harbor. <laughs> when the space was offered to me, I realized a recession was coming and that a full-blown restaurant probably would not work here in East Boston. So I decided to recreate all the foods we recall fondly, but for some reason don't eat anymore, and try to make it the best version of that anybody's ever had. So we do BLTs, tuna mills. We have the finest view of the skyline of the city of Boston. Uh, we're right on the edge of the harbor. So we have tie-up space for people. We're serviced by the water taxi, the city water taxi, so people come from downtown by boat. And it's a working shipyard, so you never know what you're going to see. It's, every day is different here. Uh, we were all geared up to reopen five days ago here, but two weeks prior to that we had some medical news back concerning Wendy that makes us reassess our priorities. So we realized we can't be in business here, we have to deal with that. It's important to sell it quickly because the marina and the shipyard rely, and the customers in the neighborhood rely on Scuffs being here. So we are actively looking for someone to come in and continue it. One of the things I've figured out is that small, a small restaurant is a living, breathing entity. And you as owner, your responsibility is to keep it healthy. So I'm just continuing what has to be done.